Okay, so think about this. Four teams had games in or around Orlando in the month of April. The Magic, Solar Bears, Orlando City, and the Orlando Pride. In this month that we've been looking at alone, those teams played 14 games in the Kia Center and Inter and Coast Stadium, drawing a combined 173,000 people to the downtown Orlando area. And tonight, News 6's Emily McLeod looks at what the foot traffic has meant for businesses downtown and how officials hope to keep that momentum going. We saw that trifecta come together, <laughs> right? We, we had basketball, we had soccer, mm -hmm. we even had some performing arts going on at Dr. Phillips. The city beautiful has been busy. From NBA playoffs to Kelly Cup finals, people say they notice more foot traffic in downtown Orlando. I think it's actually great. It's bringing tourist people out here and um, more businesses and um, basically it's good. There's been a lot more people lately. I've seen a lot more like tourist groups than I used to, especially during the day. Allison Graham and Gabriel Mora don't live in Orlando, but work downtown and say the recent buzz surrounding our hometown teams has encouraged them to spend their time and money downtown. We were actually just looking to see if there was anything going to be happening for Mother's Day take our, our moms out here for uh, any of the sports or, or whatever. Orange County Comptroller Phil Diamond also weighing in on how a big playoff run for the Magic could bring in more out-of-town visitors to Orange County. When you can get people from Cleveland or Boston or Denver or Minnesota to come here, they're, they're probably going to be staying in a hotel. They're probably going to be staying for a few days. Um, they may take in a trip to the theme parks, and that's really you know, and that's really the best of all worlds, and you can get the most economic impact with that kind of situation. But sports aren't always in season. How do we keep that excitement and momentum going here downtown? Yeah, so one of our newer initiatives is actually partnering with United Arts uh, and making sure that we have activations in downtown every day. Um, so we recently partnered with them to bring over 850 different experiences to downtown throughout a year. So you can do the math. That's like over three at any one given time. In Orlando, Emily McLeod getting results, News 6.